pair of nasty storm systems hammering both sides of the country today. While the West Coast deals with flooding rains, parts of the East Coast could measure another foot of snow. <laughs> Three winter storms in just two weeks in Massachusetts. Roofs have collapsed today under the weight of heavy snow, and passengers had to be rescued this morning when their train got stuck near Boston. Most people understand, what can you do? I don't think they should have ran the tea to begin with today. They should have shut it down right from the get-go. Are you a little tired of this? Yeah, I'm ready for summer. <laughs> <laughs> they were ready for summer uh, weeks ago. Yes. On the West Coast, high winds, heavy rain, big problem. The wind is feeding a destructive wildfire in Northern California. The fire is now 75% contained thanks to all this rain. But the drenching storm now has residents worried about mudslides. Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Boston and Southern New England have had six feet of snow in the last month. Two of the top ten snowstorms they've had of all time have been in the last two weeks. And they have two more storms lining up, and that may not be the end of it as well as more snow could hit. Now, storms could go out to sea, and they can only hope, right? Because it has been a brutal situation there. But a lot of wind blowing in the west had some wind damage up at Tamarack Resort yesterday. Wind gust to 93 miles an hour. That's two days ago, and all that heavy wind came on in. But things have settled back down, and they're skiing again in Idaho. Here in the Treasure Valley, it looks a little more spring-like out there with some showers developing. This looks spring-like. Look at the shower develop. We're going to follow this thing as it slides along just south of the interstate there. And and uh, we had the isolated showers, even some, well, there's about a chance of lightning. I haven't seen any lightning showing up, but it's not out of the question, even during the evening hours. And so looking a little more spring-like as the warmth is uh, kind of mixing in with the cool air coming in aloft. And it's making a few changes, but really hasn't dropped the temperature all that much. Still a risk for a shower tonight. It's 53 right now. Winds are south-southeast at 7 miles an hour. So the winds have settled down from what we had during the day on Saturday. A little bit of a change there, but still very mild. High temperature near 60 in Mountain Home. It was 60 in Twin, Ontario, Jordan Valley, 54 in Baker. So around 57 for a high in, in uh, Boise. Not a record for the first time in a couple of days. And even on Friday, we were one degree shy of the record. Still getting rain showers up in McCall. We had them during the day today. Snow levels are up around 6,000 feet. But we'll continue to come down. We'll start to get some snow showers in Long Valley overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. And Doppler radar shows most of that moisture pushing into Elmore County and increasing here. But it has been dry along the I-84 corridor from Boise to Caldwell in Ontario may end up staying that way, but there's still a chance for a shower overnight tonight. There you see the current readings. We're down to 39 in McCall. Some showers in northeast Oregon and in the west central mountains. We may continue to see these showers as low pressure here begins to kind of swoop in and that'll come through overnight tonight for tomorrow morning. So you may wake up to a shower in the morning, but you know what? After that, I think it's going to start to dry out from the south and west and we're going to get a lot of sunshine coming in. And once this little dip in the jet stream slides by with the cooler weather, we'll start to warm the afternoon high temperatures up. Now the morning lows are going to get cooler, so there'll be a slightly cooler air mass overhead, but still well above normal with temperatures in the 50s as mild weather begins to build right back in as the jet stream is just surging the moisture up here towards the Gulf of Alaska, but out ahead of it mild, and this time without the cloud cover, it'll be mild with some sunshine coming in as well. So here it is this evening, a chance for a shower into tomorrow morning. Still the chance for a shower nearby, but it may not rain at all in the Treasure Valley tomorrow morning. As we go through the day, we have a better chance of the clouds to break in the afternoon, although I th still think we may be mostly cloudy. Look at Wednesday. If we get a little bit of fog, that's a possibility, but a lot of sunshine developing. And Thursday, the same story, more sunshine likely as this little weak system here slides on through during the day tomorrow. And behind it, that sunshine returns. And look at the end of the week. This really tells the story. High pressure blocking all the storms, bringing the mild weather in, the frigid air blasting down the coast. And so as storms come down and hit the coast, they develop, come up the coast and bring snow to New England. They got a couple more at least coming in. 54 in Boise tomorrow, maybe a shower in the morning, but you know, it's just mostly cloudy skies with a little sunshine developing later in the day. 53 in Meridian, while in the West Central Mountains, around 40 in Long Valley. Could be a couple of snow showers with the snow levels driving, dropping to 5,000 feet, but not a lot of moisture. Still in the upper 40s in Idaho City, Stanley Sun Valley around 41, same thing in Fairfield. And the Magic Valley forecast, 51 degrees, could be a shower around, uh, but I think in the afternoon you'll just be mostly cloudy with a chance for some sunshine. And how about this extended forecast here? It will get cooler in the mornings, but after a little bit of patchy fog, maybe Wednesday, possibly Thursday morning, some nice weather coming in all the way into That's the nuts. weekend. It's crazy. The no east, rain, no snow. We are locked in the mild weather pattern, and this time we don't have the rain that we had, hmm. we had over the weekend. Hmm. Not good for the snow. Yeah.